I'm gonna let it saute with the onions and garlic. And sometimes I add some soy mushroom sauce, but today I'm not, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna leave the tomato. That could be a really good tomato stew. Cause I ran out of onion, um, <laughs> I ran out of uh, tomatoes. Like I said, this is a spur of the moment thing. Now, I'm back in the sink. I'm getting the squash to add into the mix. Here we go. So I actually did that with one hand. <laughs> okay, I'll fix the rest of that. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some salt. I just eyeball it. I have how much I have in the pot. To how much it's needed. I'm not really good on telling you the amount for the salt and pepper. You just basically eyeball it. So whatever you like, you add. And sometimes I add a little bit of Mrs. Dash into the mixture. Just a little bit. And this is Mrs. Dash Italian medley that I use. Now what I do is I turn the squash in the pot. Take a look at it. Okay, I'm a little trouble right now using one hand and holding the other hand with the camera. So let's see. Take a look. It looks good, right? Well now I'm gonna lower the fire to medium. I'm hot and I'll be back in about 15-20 minutes. Okay, back to check the food again and hopefully this time. Okay. So here we go. Beautiful. Okay, now that I finally figured out how to use it, this is a finished product. Now, one more thing that I forgot to tell you was that you could add some scall scallions. You could sprinkle scallions on top of it. But, um, basically, this is what you have. Stew squash. And you could have a glass of Merlot or some water or some soda. Whatever you'd like to drink with it. Enjoy. Bon appetit. I'll try to do another show. And hopefully next time not miss the beginning segment. Hope you've enjoyed this segment of Finding Wisdom TV with Linda Singh and Linda's Cooking. <laughs> Alrighty, talk to you soon. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.